Hi friends, how are you all? Friends, please don't mind because I didn't, uh, you know, make a face cam video today. Uh, but uh, it's a voiceover. But friends, believe me, this video is going to be very informative. Now friends, I will give you some important rules about Bhrigu Nandinari. Fundamental principles of Bhrigu Nandinari. If you are aware of these principles, you will be able to read any birth chart with the help of Nadi principles and here I'm talking about Bhrigu Nandi Nadi. Okay friends? Alright, what is the first thing that you have to keep in mind whenever you look at a birth chart and you want to read that chart on the basis of Bhrigu Nandi Nadi? The first thing that you need to remember is that Jupiter is the significator of the native. Whether it is the chart of a male or a female, always remember that Jupiter is the only planet which is regarded to be the significator of the life force or oxygen or pran vayu in Bhrigu Nandi Nadi. So Jupiter is the significator of the native in the birth chart. Now the first house generally is taken to be in Vedic astrology as the ascendant or the lagna but in Bhrigunandi Nadi, the concept of the ascendant is not given much importance. Or in fact, here in Bhrigunandi Nadi, we believe that wherever Jupiter sits, that particular house is going to be considered as the first house. If Jupiter sits in the fourth house of your chart, then that particular house will function as the lagna. That way we consider, we give a lot of importance to the placement of Jupiter. Okay friends, alright. Now, next important principle that you have to remember in Bhrigun and Dinari is that Jupiter stays in one zodiac sign for one year. Jupiter stays in one particular zodiac sign for one year. So in order to complete one full round you know, across 12 signs, Jupiter will require 12 years. That means Jupiter completes one full transit or the first round of transit, Jupiter will complete in 12 years. Now, suppose say in your birth chart, if Jupiter is in Virgo, then from Virgo, Jupiter will travel to Libra, through Scorpio and other signs and finally it will reach the sign of Leo. So it started from Virgo and it has reached up to Leo. That is one full round of transit. In order to complete that round of transit, first round, Jupiter requires 12 years because it stays in one zodiac sign for one year. Now friends, in Bhrigun and Dinari, we believe that in the first round of transit, the results that you get is mostly pertaining to the health of the native. Because within the first 12 years, the physical body is supposed to develop. Even, you know, thinking ability, reasoning ability also develops to some, definitely to some extent. So the first 12 years will, you know, revolve around the physical growth and also mental growth reasoning ability of the child definitely at least the child will be able to develop the ability to think and also to reason and the child within 12 years will physically also grow so these events will be important especially events relating to health in the first 12 years the first round of the transit. In the second round of transit, which will start from 13 years or the 13th year to the 24th year, that is, by the time the native, you know, is uh, 24 years old, Jupiter will complete the second round of transit. Okay, again it will begin the transit from Virgo if Jupiter is originally placed in Virgo in the chart. 
then again it will begin the second round of transit from there and it will reach it will travel across all signs and it will reach the sign of Leo and for that Jupiter will require another 12 years now for the second round of transit you know during this round of transit importance is given to education so within 24 years the native is expected to you know develop communication ability and also to acquire education to develop greater bonding with his family so all these things will be given a lot of importance in the second round of transit of Jupiter for the next 12 years so by the end of the second round the native will be 24 years old then we come to the third round of transit the third round of transit will start when the native will be of say 25 years or the natives 25th year will say start running so from then onwards we can say that the that Jupiter's third round of transit will begin and similarly the third round of transit will also you know be there for a period of 12 years once again Jupiter will travel from Virgo to Leo in this case and it will require 12 years another 12 years so this is that will be the third round of transit so by the end of the third round of transit the native will be around 36 years of age now in this particular round of transit friends which event is given more importance now you will see that you know education definitely in case of some natives completion of education could be an an important issue and specially importance is given to job job okay career profession business whatever so career is given a lot of importance in the third round of transit and the most important thing is also marriage definitely even in the second round some people they may go for the early if some people they go for early marriage then sometimes even in the second round it may be there definitely you know, we can definitely decode the event of marriage from the second round but yes mostly marriage and job they are seen generally from the third round of transit okay friends all right so after the third round comes the fourth round that is from the age of say 37 years to 48 okay that will be the fourth round of transit in the fourth round of transit uh, okay we can uh, give importance to building assets property all these things can be seen from the fourth round of transit whether the native will be able to build his or own uh, his or her own house what kind of property the native is going to okay have uh, how much wealth he is going to accumulate and also in the fourth round of transit definitely we can also you know study or we can find out whether the native will have spiritual inclination in life all these things also can be read from the fourth round of transit naturally even the fifth round of transit that will be say after the native has attained the age of 48 uh, say from the 49th year onwards the fifth round will begin the fifth round will be from the 49th year of the native to 60 years say so that will be the fifth round so in the fifth round also we can okay look at accumulation of wealth assets property and also spiritual inclination that also could be there in the definitely these are these will be important issues in the fifth round so friends that is how we read the progression of Jupiter now Jupiter stays in one zodiac sign for one year now we can also look at you know Saturn's transit Saturn is the significator of profession the planet Saturn stays in one zodiac sign for two and a half years so in order to complete one full round of transit across 12 signs Saturn requires 30 years 30 years 30 years to complete one full round of transit because Saturn stays in one zodiac sign for two and a half years similarly Rahu and Ketu their transit is also given importance or their progression is also given importance in Bhrigunandi Nadi 
So Rahu or Ketu, they stay in one zodiac sign for 18 months or one and a half year. They stay in one zodiac sign. Okay, friends. So they require Rahu Ketu. So they will stay in one zodiac sign for, uh, you know, one and a half year. So then you can calculate it will be uh, around 18 years. So they will require 18 years to complete one full round of transit across 12 signs. Now the progression of these four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu, these four planets and their progression, you know, are, is given importance in Bhrigunandinari because these planets are relatively slow moving planets and their transit can have a massive okay, impact on the life of the native. So the, the progression of these four planets are given a lot of importance in Bhrigunandinari. And friends, what about the aspects? Now, in Bhrigunandinari, the, we consider a number of aspects. That is the other principle that you have to look at. A planet can have first aspect. First aspect falls on the house in which the planet is seated. So that is the first aspect. Then the planet can have second aspect. A planet, any planet, each of the, you know, nine planets, they have all these aspects. The first aspect, second aspect, third aspect, fifth aspect, seventh aspect, ninth aspect, eleventh and twelfth aspect. So all these aspects each of the planets have. Now Saturn uh, has third, seventh and tenth, which I have already mentioned. Yeah. So all these aspects are there in Bhivanandinari. Now in Parashari Jyotish in Vedic astrology, Mars is believed to have the fourth aspect and eighth aspect and seventh obviously. So Mars's aspects are also important friends. I personally consider Mars's fourth aspect and eighth aspect also because we cannot overlook Mars's fourth and eighth aspects. Otherwise, all the other aspects will be there. So, yeah, in case of Saturn, the 10th aspect is there. So that aspect is again considered and that is given importance. Uh, even in Prigunandinari, Saturn's 10th aspect. So otherwise, each of the, each, each planet will have all these aspects. I repeat, first aspect, second aspect, third aspect, fifth aspect, seventh aspect, ninth aspect, eleventh and twelfth. Saturn also has tenth aspect and Mars, Mars's fourth and eighth aspects should not be overlooked. Now friends, uh, these rules you have to remember and uh, then you will see you will be able to, you know, decode any birth chart on the basis of Bhrigunandinari. The fifth aspect and ninth aspect, they are very important. They are considered to be the trinal aspects and they are very strong. I have made a video on planetary aspects in Bhrigunandinari. Please go to that video. There you will come to know that the most powerful aspects are the second aspect. The first aspect is definitely the most powerful. The next, uh, next powerful aspect is the second aspect that is very powerful. Around 80 to 85 percent powerful. And then we have the trinal aspects, fifth and ninth aspects. They are 75 to 70, the 70 to 75 percent. Fifth aspect is very powerful, 75 percent around. And the ninth aspect is, say, 70 percent. So these are the most powerful aspects in Prigunandinari. The first aspect will fall on that particular uh, house where the planet is seated. The first aspect, second aspect is again very powerful and the trinal aspects fifth and ninth you have to remember and after that definitely the seventh aspect is also powerful it is considered to be around 50 percent powerful now rahu and ketu they are always retrograde we know so in bhrigunandinari rahu and ketu their 12th aspect is considered to be very powerful so rahu and ketu they have 50 percent aspect on the previous house that is on the 12th house so and their retrograde aspect is considered to be very powerful in case of Rahu Ketu 
So it's believed that they have 50% aspect and also 50% presence in the previous house or in the previous sign. So Rahu Ketu, they are because they are always retrograde. So if you have any retrograde planets in your chart, then definitely you have to remember that it will have, it will cast a very strong aspect on the previous house or zodiac sign. So friends, these things you have to rem remember. And planets are, okay, taken in conjunction, Prigunandinari. If they have trinal relation, say 5-9 aspect, then they are considered to be in conjunction. In Bhrigunandinari, it is not that if planets are together in one zodiac sign, in one house, only then they will be in conjunction. If planets have, uh, you know, trinal relation, 5-9 relation, then also they will be considered to be in a strong conjunction. Yes, friends, so this is a very important principle in Bhrigunandi Nadi. And if planets are sitting together in one particular zodiac sign in one house, then you definitely have to look at the degree. You know, what is the degree? Which planet is of higher degree, which is of lower degree? So that will also definitely, you know, uh, okay, definitely influence the conjunction to a great extent. You will come to know which planet is moving towards which planet. Are the two planets approaching each other or are they moving away from each other? Even if they are in the same sign, all these things you will come to know if you look at the degrees of the respective planets that are in conjunction in one sign in one house. Yes, friends. So these are interesting facts about Prigunandi Nadi. Yes, friends. So you have to look at all these facts, all these rules you have to apply when you try to study any particular chart in Prigunandi Nadi. Now, uh, friends, uh, you know, uh, planets which are, say, uh, uh, Planets which have which are seated in the one five nine, the in the first say uh, one five nine position. That is, what uh, you just look at your uh, you know birth chart. Now in Bhrigunandi Nadi, calculations are made on the basis of the D one chart or Rashi chart. All calculations are usually based on that. Now look at the direction. Now planets which are. Uh, in 159 zodiac signs, 159, that means uh, planets which are in Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So all these, if you have any planets in these zodiac signs, then all these planets will be believed to be in some conjunction. Okay, they have 159, they will be in some conjunction, they will have trinal relation, definitely. They have a trinal relation, so 159, so... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and they because we believe that they will all have the same direction the zodiac sign 159 their direction is the same and 159 the direction is the east direction okay so similarly the west direction is 3711 so if you have planets in three zodiac signs 3711 that is in Gemini, Libra and Aquarius so that is the 3711 zodiac sign. So their direction is the west direction. So planets, if you have planets in uh, the zodiac signs 3711, 37 or 11, then those planets, if you have three planets or if you have any two planets in any of these zodiac signs, then they will also be considered to be in some sort of conjunction or trinal relation. Similarly, the north direction will be represented by zodiac signs okay uh, the zodiac signs 4 8 and 12 4 8 and 12 they will represent the north direction okay that is cancer scorpio and pisces if you have planets in these signs they are the water signs so water signs will always show the north direction so if you have any planets in three of in all three signs or if any two of these signs 4 8 and 12 so Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, then those planets also will be considered to be in a conjunction or trinal relation. So 159, I told you, they are the fire signs, direction is east. 3711, they are the air signs and the direction is west. 4812, they are the water signs, the direction is north. And 2610, they are the earth signs. Okay, 2, 6 and 10, zodiac signs. 
two sixteen Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So these are the Earth signs, and their direction is south. So if you have planets in these signs, then if you have three planets or two planets, then those planets will be in conjunction in trinal relation. Okay, friends, because the direction is the same. So in case of two six ten, it is the south direction. So like that, you have to see. Yes. So in Bhrugunandi Nadi, we look at all these combinations. Then besides that, I have told you about other aspects. The seventh aspect. So if two planets they are, they have seventh aspect between each other, then also they will be considered to be in some sort of conjunction. If there is second aspect, then also the planet can be in conjunction. One planet is casting second aspect on another planet, then also those two planets will be considered to be in a conjunction. It will be a two twelve. Aspect. So, if they are in one, if they are in the same zodiac sign, same house, then they have hundred percent aspect. Okay, so then they'll be in conjunction in the same house. So it is like that. Yes, friends. So in this way, we look at conjunction in Prigandhinari. Three eleven aspect is also there. So all these things you have to look at, friends, when you look at a birth chart. Okay, then. Uh, there are so many other important things which you can decode. I will definitely make uh, videos in the near future. Look at the position of Rahu and Ketu. You know, friends, you can decode so many things just from the position of Rahu and Ketu. Jupiter, whether Jupiter is in conjunction with Rahu or Ketu, just find that out. If you can decode that, you know, Jupiter is in conjunction with which planet? Is it in conjunction with Rahu or is it in conjunction with Ketu? From this particular, you know, uh, by decoding this particular thing or fact, you can you say so many things about that particular native because Jupiter is the significator of the native. So there are so many other things, friends, again, which you have to look at or which can help you predict so many things about a particular native just by looking at the birth chart. Saturn, the planet of profession, Saturn has connection with which planets? That also will enable you to know about the profession of the native. Saturn is connected to Rahu or Ketu. Saturn is connected to, is Saturn connected to Jupiter? Or is it connected to Venus? So all these things, or is it connected to Mars? So these things also will enable you to decode so many things about the profession of the native. Okay, friends? So friends, uh, these are the basic rules, principles, you know, fundamental rules and principles which you have to keep in mind while decoding a birth chart with the help of the principles of Bhrigunandinari. I will definitely make a face cam video and, you know, kind of illustrate things properly, uh, you know, by showing you a birth chart, uh, you know, and I will do that uh, definitely in the near future. So this was just, you know, uh, I just wanted to share this you know, <clears throat> uh, okay, share these important uh, facts or principles with you today. So see you friends next time and uh, friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will do live tarot sessions very soon. So I, you know, just give me some time. So we will meet live again in tarot sessions and I hope you found today's session informative. Take care friends. See you.